Hey, welcome back. David's been told uh, to marry the king's daughter, a hundred foreskins of the Philistines. Let's read what happens, verses 26 to 30. So when his servants told David these words, here comes the response. It pleased David well to become the king's son-in-law. Now the days had not expired. Therefore David arose and went, he and his men, and killed 200 men of the Philistines. And David brought their foreskins, and they gave them in full count to the king, that he might become the king's son-in-law. Then Saul gave him Michael, his daughter, as a wife. Thus Saul saw and knew that the Lord was with David, and that Michael, Saul's daughter, loved him. And Saul was still more afraid of David, so Saul became David's enemy continually. Then the princes of the Philistines went out to war, and so it was, whenever they went out, that David behaved more wisely than all the servants of Saul, so that his name became highly esteemed. So David is hearing the word, the king just wants 100 Philistine foreskins. When David heard that, he, 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 was, he said, oh, is that all? And uh, brings back double that amount. I don't know if there's a rebuke in there for, for Saul. But it's a very grisly tale. I mean, these had to be cut off and, and counted up. And, you know, maybe they counted them out in tens. This is, this is pretty gross stuff. But here we notice that Saul is trying to have David killed. We talked about that the other morning. And David, though, knows that God is with him. And David doubles the, the, the king's thing. And so we also notice that Michael, at this point, Michael truly loves David. So, so it's all good. It's all good. And there's sort of a, a subtle rebuke in here against Saul, isn't there, from David. So kind of sad, kind of sad stuff. But notice again at the end of each, each of these sequences, many times it says, and so David was loved by the people, you know, everything David, everything David touches, it turns to gold. It's all good. And, and David's influence, David's, the, the people's love for David is increasing all the time. And Saul is just getting gloomier and gloomier. Very sad. Verse 29 tells us, and so Saul was that much more afraid. And so the thing continues. It's just getting worse and worse. Saul sees David as his enemy continually, and yet David hasn't shown a reason why. May God be our helper. May God help us not to be anybody's enemy, but to be faithful in doing what God would have us to do. And everything else will fall into place as we look to heaven. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we again look to you. Uh, you have mighty deeds for us to do. Some of them come out kind of grimly like the one today. But Lord, help us to be faithful. Help us, Lord, even when others distrust us and seek our harm, help us to be bold for your kingdom. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So God be with you today. Maybe you won't have to do something quite as grisly as this one. Hopefully not. But uh, God will be with you in things large or small if we only trust in him.